Assalamualaikum. Good afternoon, everyone. At first, I am giving thanks to our honorable man, Mr. Jibnahar, for giving a chance to create a documentary. Our post office, Sir Jibnahar. Our documentary trophy, old and middle English literature. Old English literature. Old English is the language and literature of Anglo-Saxon. Anglo-Saxon ruled England from 450 AD to 1066. Old English is directly related to modern English. Many of the modern words came from Old English. Old English was first oral with Leonic inscriptions then used alphabets writing on manuscripts. Anglo-Saxon literature, poetry, heroic, be all, elegiac, the sea faller, lyric, catmons him, flows, Latin, Bedit's history of English church and people, Old English, the Anglo-Saxon chronicle. Anglo-Saxon or Old English period can be divided into three categories. Oral literature, alliterative verse, internal rhyme. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, this is Sanjato Sain. Today, I am going to talk about the Middle English period. Middle English 1100 to 1500. The Middle English period is from 1100 to 1500. The most important event to affect the history of English, the Norman conquest, took place at the end of the Old English period. The big sense is that these invasions produced in the English society were accompanied by equal effects in the vocabulary of Middle English. After their victory in 1066 at the Battle of Hastings under William the Conqueror, the Normans quickly assumed leadership and privilege in England. So, sir, he was a public servant. His jobs included the flowing soldier, control of customs, justice of the peace, as well as a forest official. The Canterbury Tales 1387 by Saucer. The English which was used from about 1100 to 1500 is called Middle English. So, sir, father of English poetry. The Canterbury Tales contains about 17,000 lines. A party of pilgrims tells stories to pass the time on their journey from London to Canterbury. Hello everyone, I am Sushanta Choudhury. Now my topic is number one, Anonymous the Exeter Book Riddles. Here is a riddle for you. What hangs down by the thigh of a man under his cloak, yet is stiff and hurt? When the man pulls off his rope, he puts the head of this hanging thing into that familiar hole of matching length which he has filled many times before. Got it? A key of course. This is one of a number of riddles found in the Exeter book. One of the jewels in the crown of Anglo-Saxon literature. We discuss more Anglo-Saxon riddles and challenge you to solve them in a separate post. And now number, number two, Anonymous the Wife's Lament. At just 53 lines, this is one of the shortest works of Anglo-Saxon literature included in this list. It's a cry of despair and grief, told from the perspective of a wife whose husband has been exiled. The poem also features the rather useful Anglo-Saxon word cheer, which has been translated as lying awake in the morning Oring. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. I am Simon Seniba. My topic's name is Anonymous Beof. As we have discussed in our detailed summary of Beof, this poem is part of rich literature narrative tradition that accompanies Chalkins the Habits and the story of Sir George and Digons. Even Lewis Keller's Abel Hooks is Sanonix the hero's plot, notably his slapping the, of the monster gender. Actually, 
on on the first of three monster biof has to baggage although it is a celebrate now this as important work of anglo saxons indeed in this literature biof was basically unknown and forgotten ever immediately for nearly a thousand years it was on rescue for the varsity in 1815 when an iceland danish scholar named trekrin pinters as edition of poem and although it is seen as a starting point of great english literature at many universities it is still a lias literature text study as a part of readers a canon it is a very different from other mandrillar plato success by censors and lang rent who i are writing many censors sen- writers it is set in denmark has a swedish hero and hoyen written the original anglo saxons seems almost more germany than english i would like to invite my next member abir borua hi this is abir borua today i am going to talk about catman ham perhaps the oldest poem written in english catman's ham was composed in the 7th century by a godard and takes the form of a short ham in phrase of god it was bait of the venerable bait as he is often known who ensured the survival of catman's ham when he drafted it down in latin translations in one of his books an anonym scribe then added the anglo-saxon form of the ham in the margins of bad books i am shana sharmin the dream of the road and the early work of anglo-saxon literature the dream of the road is an early work of english christian bards and an example of the dream poem which would later become to a staple of medieval bards thanks to the pearls poet and william lackland root means cross and part of this poem was inscribed on the 8th century rudwell cross in scotland the first record of it is an 18 feet high cross in the church at rudwell the early middle english period poetry The Norman Conquest worked no immediate transformation on either the language or the literature of the English. Older poetry continued to be copied during the last half of the 11th century. Two poems of the early 12th century Durham, which praises the city's cathedral and its relics, an instruction for Christians. A dedicated piece showed that correct elective verse could be composed well after 1066. but even before the conquest rim had begun to supplant rather than supplement iteration in some poems which continued to use the older four stitch line although their rhythms varied from the set types used in classical old english bars a post conquest example is the grape which contains several rhyming lines a poem from the anglo saxon chronicle on the death of william the conqueror limiting his courtly and great has more rhyme than alliteration hello assalamu alaikum this is boishakhi munna today i am talking about detective poetry detective poetry The 13th century saw a rise in the popularity of long detective poems presenting biblical narrative, saints' lives or moral instruction for those untutored in Latin or French. The most idiosyncratic of these, the Ormulum by Ohm, an Augustinian canon in the north of England, written in some 20,000 lines arranged in unrhymed but metrically rigid couplets the work is interesting mainly in that the manuscript that preserves it is ohm's autograph and shows his somewhat fussy efforts to reform and regularize english spelling other biblical paraphrases are genesis and exodus jacob and joseph and the worst Cursa Mundi, whose subject, as its title suggests, is the history of the world. The didactic tradition 
continual into the 14th century with Robert Manning's handling scene, a confessional manual whose expected dryness is relieved by the insertion of lively narrative. Assalamu alaikum. I am Sristi. Today I am going to talk about the later Middle English and early Renaissance periods. One of the most important factors in the nature and development of English literature between about 1350 and 155 poetry, the peculiar linguistic situation in England at the beginning of the period. Among the small minority of the population that could be regarded as literate. Bilingualism and even trilingualism were common. In so far as it was considered a serious literary medium at all, English was obliged to complete on uneven terms with Latin and with the Anglo-Norman dialect of French widely used in England at that time. Assalamu alaikum. I am Abdul Noor. I would like to start my documentary speech about Old and Middle English literature, the lyric. The lyric was virtually unknown to all English poets, poems such as Dia and Waf, and it was, uh, which have been called lyrics, are thematically different from those that began to circulate orally in the 12th century and to be written down in great number in the 13th. These old English poems also have a strong narrative component than the later predictions. The most frequent topics in the Middle English secular lyric are springtime and romantic love. Many rework such themes studiously, but some such as follows in the fourth, thirteenth century and age aim of Ireland and the fourth century convey strong emotions in a few lines to lyrics of the early thirteenth century. Mary, it is while swimmer I last and swimmer is a human in are preserved with musical setting and probably most of the others are meant to be sung. Assalamu alaikum, this is Jayapur. I would like to talk about courtly poetry. Apart from a few late and minor differences in Scotland and the northwest of England, and the alliterative movement was over before the first quarter of the 5th century had passed. The other major stand in the development of English poetry from roughly 1354 much more durable the cultivation and refinement of human sentiment with respect to love already present in earlier 14th century writings such as the Harley relics took form root in English court culture during the region of resort to 